What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one, as always. And as you can see, we have already cracked into this one today, but we are taking a look at X2Y Toys Poison Plant Controller, uh, a.k.a. Poison Ivy from DC Comics. Now, the main reason I had already opened her is I did an unboxing video of it, but it failed miserably because it was about 45 minutes long. Um, she takes a unnecessary amount of time to put together which seems absurd because she's barely wearing anything um, but we'll get to that when we get into uh, her outfit and all of that good stuff uh, if you're wondering i got her through giant toy she is still available at the moment but she was about 220 bucks and that's through giant toy who's typically got some of the better prices you can get on sixth scale stuff uh, now while sixth scale is usually expensive one of the joys of third party is usually it's not licensed so it's not as pricey I see. Um, I don't necessarily think she was worth the money. Uh, and that's coming from somebody who's a, a pretty big Poison Ivy fan. Um, I kind of jumped and pulled the trigger right when I saw it go up for pre-sale. Uh, if you can get it for less than 200 bucks, absolutely worth it. If you're spending 250, 300, mm, I would I probably shouldn't do it. Um, but that's just my opinion on it. She's one of the only figures that I've gotten that I, I really would probably say don't buy. I mean, unless you're in love with it, you know, by all means go for it. But I just haven't been too impressed. And, and we'll get to all of that uh, in just a few moments. Um, first off, we're going to take a look at some of the accessories you do get. Um, so this one I actually thought was pretty cool. It's a little whip arm that you can attach. You just pull off her wrist, uh, slip her arm right through there, put the hand back on, and then she's got a cool little stabby plant thing and um, they did do a really good job with all of the accessories and honestly the outfit is amazing um it's just the head sculpt was a real letdown for me and again at, at 220 bucks um you're spending a lot and i would hope you would get something better uh, you're you're approaching hot toys uh prices at that point um and you're not getting hot toy quality at least out of the head <laughs> i'll say that much um also, the fact that you don't get a base was a bit of a letdown for me. Um, now, you might be wondering why she's standing in that stupid pose. I'll, I'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, kind of take a look at one of her little thorny whips here. One thing that they did, this is just kind of a nerdy uh, thing I noticed, but I really like it. So, uh, if you can kind of see, they've got some of the younger thorns in that light green color. And then the more matured ones are in the, uh, the darker red, which is neat. That's, you know... If you've ever had roses or anything with thorns on them, that tends to happen. So I thought that was kind of a cool touch. Um, and then you get the, the really long one that's got the really nice developed red thorns on it. So that's certainly cool there. Um, and again, they, they really did uh, quite an amazing job um, with the actual accessories of this figure. It's just the figure itself that, again, personally, not in love with. And I feel bad saying that because there really are a lot of good things about it. And if it, honestly, if it was like twenty or thirty dollars cheaper, I would, I would be like, yes, get this. But all things considered, eh. um, so this was the other cool accessory that you get with her. Uh, you do get an extra set of hands and feet. I'm not going to bother showing those because they're pretty, pretty much uh, kind of standard in what you can expect. They were nice and painted the toenails and fingernails on it. Um, but this thing is just super cool. Uh, at least the look of it. It's not the most practical. Um, <laughs> because it's so big, heavy, and clunky, it's really hard to actually pose her with it. Um, now, when I initial, initially saw the figure, I was thinking that this was going to be more of kind of her display base, um, which to me was also part of why the price was going to be where it was. Um, but since she doesn't have a base, this is just kind of something she can hold. Um, and there's not a good way for her to do that. Um, you can kind of weave it around her a little bit to where it's kind of braced up, but it still looks sort of awkward. Um, and most of the cool positions I was able to get in ended up slightly upside down. Um, so I, I wish they would have just made this articulated to where you can twist the head a little bit and, and get some more play out of it there. Um, it is cool. And if you do customize stuff, you know, you could easily build a base that, that incorporates this and the other the other vines to make something really, really neat with her. It's got a lot of possibilities there. Um, but just as a standalone accessory, I was not uh, blown away by it. 
Uh, onto the figure itself, like I said, she took me forever to put together, which she really shouldn't have. Um, she does have this very easy to remove skirt thing, um, which I just want to get a close up because they did an awesome job painting the flowers on those. Um, I just really like the way those turned out. And even just painting the different vines and stuff on it, they did do a really, really good job with this. Uh, also, one thing I will give them credit for, considering it's a hard plastic skirt, when it does attach to her, it, it looks pretty dang good. Um, and it's just, you know, nothing special. Got a little hole there that you plug it into. Um, and then it just kind of twists and falls into place, and there you have it. Um, so I honestly thought that ended up pretty awesome for what it is. So again, I'll, I'll give them good credit for that. Uh, but the main reason she took me forever to put together is you don't get any instructions, and all of the little side pieces of armor you have to put on yourself. Um, so you just kind of guess which of these is on which leg. Once you get them on there, it's a lot more obvious. Um, same with kind of the arm guards and stuff like that. You have to really play around with them. I had these on upside down at first because I'm stupid. Uh, but then once I flipped them, it was a lot easier. Uh, the biggest difficulty I had with her is there's a, a piece of plastic that's woven underneath uh, her dress, um, which I don't know if I'll get a good angle of this. There's not really an easy way to undo it. You would really have to untie that, which would be a huge pain. Um, so I kind of just gradually cut at it with an X-Acto knife and, and peeled it out. Um, and eventually got it, but it did take a very, very long time. Um, now they did do a really good job with the actual armor for her. Uh, it looks like leaves. It's awesome. Um, again, the, the outfit is phenomenal. The one worry I have, um, only because I feel like it's already starting to do it, I feel like over time this is just going to gradually kind of separate more. Um, since there's no actual plastic holding it in place, it's just that that cord. There's nothing really keeping it tight against the body. It's just going to kind of gradually fall off, I think, over time. Hopefully not. Um, and you probably could fix that just by, you know, tightening this up. I think it's a little bit loose just because there was that extra space for the plastic wrap, which also didn't really help things. Um, and as you can see, the skirt does fall off pretty dang easy, but when it's displayed, you're good to go. Uh, now, the real issues that I had and my biggest complaint with her overall was this head, which I guess up close doesn't look terrible. Mm, there you go. Um, it does have movable eyes, which is nice, um, and they're pretty easy to get to, but the big problem I had... Uh, other than personally not liking rooted hair. And actually, you can't really tell at this moment. It's kind of sitting well on there. But you can kind of see when it's resting that space at the top of her hairline. Because um, the whole top of her head just pulls off. Um, that way you can get up in there and move the eyes around if you want. Um, and while I, I do like that feature a lot, for most of the other figures that I've got, I feel like the top part of the head's a little bit more secure um, and also you really don't get that much of a gap there um, so you will have to kind of play with the uh, the hair to, to hide that a little bit it's not super you know absurdly noticeable or anything like that depending on you know distance and angle you're really not going to see it but once you know it's there and if you're looking up close it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb as they say um, other than that, I didn't hate it too much. It's just, eh, kind of a letdown. Um, also, I, I guess from some angles it looks good, but it just really wasn't in love with the head. Um, you know, the more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. But, all things considered, eh, I think you, you might be able to find a better head sculpt out there. Um, eh, just my two cents.